Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well. Viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, buddy! And guess. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. So we learned a couple things last time. One, Phoenix Wright was not lying about having a daughter. I guess. Unless if he just didn't use yeah. Photoshop. Unless he's like, Google cute daughter. <laughs> <laughs> just puts that in his pocket. We also learned that Kristoff and the judge are total bros and go and eat burritos together yeah, during yeah, the recesses. Yeah, that happens. That clearly is not just us making stuff up. No, oh, yeah. That actually happened. That happened. Anyhow. April 20th, 12, 14 p.m., District Court, courtroom number for two. Why do we move courtrooms? <laughs> I'll have to check if that actually was a different courtroom. Also, we learned that Phoenix Wright's... Oh, yeah. I haven't told the truth to anybody it? yet. Because I'm stinker. <laughs> this is the Trump part of... <laughs> of no, the no more of case, Trump. Yep. Kout will now reconvene. <laughs> One of the best typos. <laughs> Has our witness, Miss Olga Orly, recovered? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, well, she's regained consciousness. Well, close enough. <laughs> Perhaps we can hear her version of the events again. That's the thing! You see, she's quite fatigued! You're looking a bit fatigued yourself, Mr. Payne. Sadly, fatigue is insufficient grounds for refusing to testify or prosecute. The defense would like to request that Miss Orley take the stand. Very well. The witness will take the stand. Stop carrying your stuff. Perhaps you could repeat your name and profession? Or perhaps you'd rather admit that you're a poor liar and a poorer loser. No, not. <laughs> she's a pirate? What? Uh, no, she's a dealer with oh, a bandana. But she had like the pirate bandana. Crap, now I gotta find out a new name. I always pictured her with a southern accent now. Name's Olga Orly. That's the truth. I'm a pro dealer. <laughs> Name's Olga Orly. No, <laughs> that's the no. truth. <laughs> oh, I'm, a, I'm a pro dealer. People call me. Olga Quick Fingers Orly. Oh, uh, oh, really? Want to know something else? I'm not really Russian, and my last name sounds like Oh, really? There, that's the truth. I hope you're satisfied. Just kind of giving her your normal voice. Over. Well, I don't know what else. I I don't want to give her a Russian voice, but I don't want to make She's her sound like I don't want to make her sound like Lot of Heart either. That's fine. Yeah! Lot of Heart's probably in the game anyway. She probably is. <laughs> They'll be in the next case together. <laughs> Witness, you will tell the court what you really were up to that night. Fine, I'll talk. We had a plan, see. Let me remind you that you are currently under oath. Any further fabrications will have serious consequences. A stern talking to. <laughs> mm, fine. I mean, it's a game. So, it's chill. Like I said, I'm a pro. That guy Smith hired me to do what I do best. So she never worked there before that night? Oh, she worked. I was planted at the Borscht Bowling Club several. Bowling Club? <laughs> the Borscht Bowling Bowling for Borscht! <laughs> Whoa! That's what I initially thought of. I was like, yeah, bowling and poker. No, it's a bowl of Borscht. A bowl of Borscht. I was planted at the Borscht Bowl Club several days prior to the d the night of the day of the game. <laughs> I can't! Just slow down the a little The night of yeah. the dame. <laughs> As a waitress. So you were in cahoots with the victim. Not that he needed my help. Smith is a well-known poker player in some circles. But winning wasn't the main purpose of the game. It was about destroying a legend, the unbeatable Phoenix Wright. The plan was simple. Elegant, really. You see, we set up a trap of sorts. I was to plant a card in Wright's pocket beforehand, and then deal five aces during one of the games. When their hands were revealed, Smith would call him out and search Wright. He would then pull out the planted card, and the trap would snap shut. So she was trying to make right cheap. You swap the cards! Exposed as a cheater and losing on top of it, it would have made a great double play. Just like that, the legend would be dashed to pieces. Indeed. Getting caught red-handed at cheating would cast doubt on all his prior wins. A seven-year legend destroyed by one little card. That was the plan. She does look like a pirate. She looks like she belongs with Tetra on, on the <laughs> ship. What is, what is Tetra's ship called? I don't even think it has a name. It doesn't have a name? They, they should have named the ship. Oh, really, Orly? How droll. But it appears you made quite the mistake. A mistake? I agree, the trap was elegant. 
Yet what happened to the planted card? Hey, that's right! He's lucky I'll give him that. You have to be- you have to be to slip free from a trap laid by Olga Quickfingers Orly. Oh, really? The witness would be much cuter if she dispensed with the evil mastermind shtick. Cute? Who wants to be cute? I'm not cute. I'm bad, you hear me? BAD! When you're through being bad, perhaps you could testify to the court? This also explains why she was like hunched over like Like with her- with the, <laughs> the, the trays still? in the air, yeah. Tell us about this trap and how it was sprung. She kind of already told us. Witness testimony, the best laid traps of mice and men. Sure. Mm. That night, I planted the card like I was supposed to. And Wright lost the last hand just like he was supposed to. Then Wright, then, then, then Wright searched him. Wright's like, I better search <laughs> myself. <laughs> 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 then Smith searched him. Also, did you knock anything off? No. Oh, okay. Good. Also, I have, what no is that, I have no idea what that is. Is that like Lynx? No. Yeah, it's Lynx. But the planet car was gone. The trip failed. The trip failed. The trap failed. <laughs> we tried to go to Florida. But that failed. <laughs> Every time you make any mistake, I'm playing our own. No. Oh, no, you should though. The next moment, Wright picked up a bottle and swung it. It wasn't me who hit Smith. It was that no good cheating defendant. That probably is right. <laughs> Phoenix could cheat. I, I, he has cheated in court before. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, a surprisingly frank testimony that still leaves us mostly in the dark. The trap was perfect, I tell you. Perfect! If that rotten cheater hadn't messed it up. Look who's talking! <laughs> well, the testimony, for what it's worth, is all yours, Mr. Justice. With witnesses like her, who needs criminals? Now I feel- now I don't feel as bad that I had the most terrible Russian accent Oh, uh, yeah. Because she's just not Russian, she's like, Russian accent. <laughs> your, your accent wasn't Russian, by the way. Yeah, I know, <laughs> that's why it works. And with defense, it's like, Mr. Wright, who needs prosecutors? <laughs> the best way to I traps. love her look. <laughs> she looks great. One Let's Play where I've seen play this game, like, his reaction to, like, her, like, turning into yeah. this is like, Whoa! She's actually hot! <laughs> she is hot! I was like, oh! I'm like, I like her better when she actually had all the Eskimo stuff on, but oh. alright. <laughs> then she looked like an ice climber. I know! Po, po, na, na, Olga! <laughs> Orly. <laughs> Orly. <laughs> Point of the card. This pointed card? Which card was it exactly? The trump card. The five of hearts. Let me guess. Mr. Wright was to have switched with the five with the ace to make a full house. <laughs> At least that's what you were going to accuse him of doing, thereby ruining his legend. I slid it in Wright's pocket. When was this? Why, before the match, of course. When he was eating. At the Borscht Bowl Club, we served Borscht. And suckers. Remind me never to go there. Of course. The card was made- er, was to make its grand debut during the game. Like a good Borscht, a good plot must be cooked up early and allowed to thicken. And Wright lost the last hand just like he was supposed to. Then Smith searched him. Why would he have it in his pocket? Like, you don't pull a card out of your pocket regardless. <laughs> you pull out what's dealt, so... Yeah, that but... means Wright oh, willingly went through his pockets to see if he could play any card. <laughs> Let's see. I, hang on, just want to check to see if I have any spare cards, cards. in here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> That's it. So everything went according to plan. Exactly. The fifth ace came up, so it was obvious the switch went off without a hitch. Once the extra card was found in his pocket, Wright would be forever known as a cheat and a fraud. There are worse things to be known as, I suppose. Tell us what happened with the search. The planted card was gone, the tra Trap! Trap! <laughs> You've messed up too! I want to play it for when you mess up. <laughs> you want to play my harmonica, which has my lip germs on it? I have probably had enough of your spit over our lives just because of water or this whatever drinking out of the wrong water glass water. i have totally drunk out of the wrong water glass way too that's why okay you want to know what that's one of the reasons i only use my cheshire cat mug because yeah. everybody knows it's mine yeah the card disappeared yeah my trump card the five of hearts gone without a trace poof zippo we searched every nook and cranny, even inside his cute little hat. But the card was nowhere to be found, is this correct? And Mr. Wright, was, Mr. Wright must have been like, 
what the heck? Why are they doing like a body search like when you go to the airport? Where they're like, pat him down! Pat him down! Like searching all of his pockets, his hat, his pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's going a little far. <laughs> no, like the pockets in his pants. You didn't specify that. <laughs> okay, not like his Take pants. off your pants! We want to see. <laughs> right now! No. Alright, actually, put him back on. Pants on the put ground. Put him back on. Pants on the ground. Look like a fool with, with your, your pants, pants on, on the, the ground. ground. Never in my long storied career. <laughs> Never has quick fingers orally been so readily duped. Oh, really? Now, what did happen? So, what did happen with the Five of Hearts? <laughs> <laughs> that was Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. Why don't you ask the cheating, lying, two-faced defendant? So the Five of Hearts is still missing in action. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if people find that annoying. Maybe. People are gonna be commenting like, that is really annoying, can you stop doing that? And I'm gonna reply like, you are five years too late to be commenting yeah. on that. <laughs> yeah. Next moment. Oh, hang on. I think that, I think, I think pressing that ends the testimony, so okay. let's do the- It was me, it was the no good cheating defense. It's the no good dirty rotten pig stealing great great, great great grandfather. Grandpa. Let me ask, how's your eyesight? Just, who do you think you're talking to? They don't call me quick fingers for nothing. I'm a pro, which means my dealing pro- which, which means my dealing's pro and my eyesight's so pro! My eyesight is so bad, I can't read. Honestly, she'd have to be blind as a bat to miss something like that in the small room. Yeah, but Mr. Wright didn't have a motive to hit the victim. Hmm. Different personality, but the same testimony. I believe you have her where you want her, Justice. Uh -huh. The circumstances have changed, yet her testimony has not. That means... There's gotta be a contradiction in there. Quite. Cool. The night Thank you, Kristoff. And then... And then... BAM! Who's that? Wait. Isn't that a little odd? What's odd? You searched Mr. Wright, er, thoroughly, even his pants, and you found <laughs> nothing? Which means he didn't cheat. Which means he had no reason to strike the victim. W well There's a cyclop! Well, what was that just now? I oh, sensed maybe, something. Maybe a Magatama is in Wright's hat. <laughs> and we can sense it. And we it. can sense it because Everyone could too then. Gavin, yeah. Gavin's not like, what the leap is that? Gavin's <laughs> used to it, he knows right. <laughs> That's true, they are friends. He probably knows about Maybe that. Apollo, well, we don't know Apollo's upbringing. Maybe he's from the same Crane village, but then, like, he, he, but since they apparently hate guys, they, like, <laughs> threw him out. They don't throw him out, they just leave. <laughs> they just leave, and he's like, eh, whatever, I'm going with my dad, I'm gonna become a lawyer. <laughs> he, we don't know his big, dramatic past backstory. It could be like- Maybe he has a few. <laughs> maybe it's like one day I was walking in the rain and- I was leaping I came, along. Uh, leap, 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 leap. No, and what? No, go oh. ahead. Go and ahead. then, um, like he's, he's walking in the rain, his like socks are drenched. <laughs> he's wearing shoes too, but his socks are drenched. And then he Where like- Where are you going with this? And then he comes across the great attorney Phoenix Wright. Ooh, and they cross paths and they exchange names and, and that's talk. that's it no no there's like more to the story but we'll we'll develop it more later <laughs> does this story have like a climax not yet something wrong mr justice you've been staring at that for like five minutes now uh, no nothing your honor what to do should i press her a little harder when in doubt <laughs> if i say no it's like <sighs> nah i'm just seeing things sorry it's nothing please continue the testimony what was that? A dizzy spell? I gotta relax. Miss Orly, you're hiding something. What are you talking about? Y you? M me? Quick fingers Orly hide something? The defense will refrain from baseless accusations. I have one question for the witness then. You say you saw the moment the defendant hit the victim. Is this true? Of course it's true. I saw it. Honest. I saw it when Bright hit him. With my own eyes, I saw it. What's this weird vibe I'm getting? Man, it's like you're... I don't know. That witness, for instance, Miss Orly. She would touch the back of her neck during certain parts of her testimony. Did you notice? Touching her neck, was it? Right now she's touching her head. What is this? 
What is happening? Are we in a seizure? This is the gimmick of the game, basically. Blah, whoa! Blah. What's going on? Wait, you can make a rap session with the thing up top. <laughs> Yo, yeah. my name is Orly, and I am a liar because... My paints are on fire. <laughs> That's better than 99% of rap songs out there. Yeah. You're right up there with Death Chamber. D Death Chamber, Death the Chamber. The sensation, it's coming into focus. There, that twitch, it's so clear. It's like I could perceive her habit like I couldn't before. Man, I can't believe Apollo's eyes are red. Gotcha! Oh, that's cool. What the heck? This is weird, but interesting. Miss Orly, perhaps you're unaware of this yourself. Uh, unaware of what? Whenever you get to a certain part of your testimony, you touch the back of your neck with your left hand. My... my neck? So, so what? Uh, what indeed, Justice? I hadn't noticed anything of the sort. When she says that part of the testimony, she subconsciously is recalling something. Her body reacts to the memory and she touches her neck. I'm sure of it. A memory? Would someone care to explain what he's babbling about? This is highly unusual, but let's ask the defense. You claim the witness is remembering something. Maybe you have evidence of this memory to show us? Her habit is scratching her neck whenever she talks about the moment of the crime. So what would remind her the most of the moment of the crime? Miss Orly, whenever you recall the crime that night, you scratch your neck. I've noticed it happens when you think about the moment of the crime. There must be a reason behind this habit of yours. I believe the weapon that left an irreversible impression on your neck is this. My attorney's bag! No! Sorry to disappoint, but I don't have any particular memories of that. Well, let's start making some! This is my, my attorney's, attorney's bag! Uh-oh, that must not have been it. Hmm. Of course not! <laughs> you want a habit, <laughs> Mr. Justice? I'll show you a habit! <laughs> I better get this sorted out before I develop a habit of my own. <laughs> her habit is scratching her neck whenever she talks about the moment of the crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it could be she got hit with the wine bottle. It's a grape juice bottle. It's not alcohol. It's, it's America. It's grapes! Grapes are make wine! According to Marty, grape juice equals wine. No! <laughs> so some Christians would believe that. <laughs> <laughs> but... But they're... They're, they're interesting. <laughs> Whenever. I haven't messed up yet. No, but I was gonna- it sounded weird. Oh, <laughs> oh. The... Do you not know how to play the harmonica? There, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever she talks about the moment of the crime, she touches her neck. And what reminds us more of that moment than this bottle, the murder weapon? The neck of the bottle. But, something doesn't fit. If you were only a witness to the crime, why would that make you touch your neck like you're in pain? What is he talking about now? It was Mr. Smith, the victim who was hit. Not you. Uh, um... This is a cross-accusation- Cross-examination, not a cross-wild conjecture! <laughs> a cross-accusation. <laughs> <laughs> The witnesses' habits? They're completely irrelevant! Justice, I'll admit I'm a bit confused myself. This is certainly a unique cross-examination. I'll explain later! Just trust me, now's our only chance to break her. Miss Orly, please testify in detail about the moment of the crime, the very moment. Yet, I, I know nothing. How'd you get all those clothes back on in two seconds? Um, we know you're not Russian. And that's not a Russian accent. <laughs> the witness will testify, that's why please. why we know you're not Russian. Now. Blech, fine. He's the one who did it. I didn't let him out of my sight until the cops got there. You seem uneasy. I'm trying sitting up here. Her eyes are darting all over the place. I must be getting warm. That's me, though. Tell me, after the crime, what was the defendant like? Uh, well, he must have been stunned by the weight of the crime. He sat in the daze at that table until the cops came. Intriguing. I believe you've gotten all the testimony you're going to get out of this witness. So, what do you think about her testimony? It's garbage! I'll tell you what I think. Her testimony is flawed fine. 
It's, it's pretty fine. I think it's fine. <laughs> pretty good, really. I'd be upset too at a crime scene like that. Yeah, I can picture my mind going blank, staring listlessly. Yes, I am picturing you doing that right now. As for our defendant, he is an experienced trial lawyer. He's seen a lot in his day. Yeah, he's seen a few people die in front of him. He almost died in front of himself. Does that wait? Does that even make sense? You always die in front of yourself. Yeah, I was about to say. It's basically bogus. It contradicts the evidence. What is that? Well, show us this evidence, Mr. Justice. <coughs> this evidence that you claim contradicts the testimony. She didn't let him out of her sight until the cops got there. I know there's some evidence that contradicts that. Okay. Oh, hey, we're actually getting penalized now. Well, oh, how no. about that? Oh, bird, I don't know oh, about, about this. This. <laughs> this, your honor, is the evidence that contradicts your testimony. Well, Mr. Payne? <laughs> Who would have thought that the justice could be so wrong? He's the guilty one. Gah, me? Mr. Justice, you might want to be thinking about your future before doing that again. Ouch, that one hurt. Different personality, but the same testimony. Um, yeah, we've already seen that. Bup, okay, bup, attorney's bup, badge. Bup, bup, bup. Just putting it on makes me feel bad. I oh, don't. Oh, I know what this is. I don't know why Apollo's voice is so hard for me to consistently. I know exactly what this is. It's because of the phone. Because we didn't. They didn't get reception in the bottom floor, and so mm -hmm. he had to move. To move. To move. To move. Ugh, that was a sad one. <laughs> Miss Orley, we have a record here that clearly contradicts what you said. It states that the police were alerted by a report from the defendant. Ugh. And we know that the defendant left the room, climbed the stairs, and made that phone call from the first floor of the Borscht Bull Club. Ugh. So, explain how you kept your eyes on the defendant when he left the room entirely. Ugh. That was definitely a lobster. Yeah, that looked like a lobster. <laughs> They make weird borscht. They make weird borscht. The man who picked up the bottle and swung it that night? It wasn't the defendant. Oh, look at that beautiful animation! Here's your cards. Here's my cards. Hmm. Showdown time. You dirty cheat! Check his pockets, now! It's gone! The card's gone! You lose. Ah! Just then, Smith grabbed the bottle from next to right, and he hit me! Y you Some master of cheating you turned out to be! Ah! When I came to... The victim was already dead. Is that it? That's why I couldn't reveal who I really was. If it came out that I was in the league with Smith, I'd be a suspect for sure. You already you're still a suspect. Yeah, you're already acting very suspicious. Like, you hid behind an Eskimo outfit for literally no reason. For literally no reason. <laughs> well, where does this leave us? The madness! This is madness! I'm dreaming! It must have been me who was hit with the bottle, and I'm imagining all of this! It appears our prosecution is at his wit's end, and frankly, I can't blame him. Mr. Gavin, what do you think about this turn of events? B Mr. Gavin? Sir? I believe that, as the defense in this case, we are compelled to call Miss Orley a big fat liar. What?! Three were in that room the night of the murder. The defendant, the victim, and her. And she has a motive. A motive? Her plot foiled, the witness got into an argument with her client, Mr. Smith. And the demo now the denouement of that argument was murder. What? I didn't I'm no killer! It's a trap! Someone's trying to frame me. What everybody says. <laughs> Phoenix like, hey bro. What tangled webs we weave when we practice to deceive. So tangled, we catch ourselves in the process. Are you turning into Godot? M Mr. Wright? Such a hasty conclusion. It's not like you, Kristoff Gavin. What are you saying? Why not consider the other possibility? 
that there was another person in the room at the time of the murder. Because we already know that you might be lying because <laughs> you aren't telling the whole truth. Right, like Mr. Wright was saying before recess. A single card was swapped into the victim's hand after the murder. And the one who swapped the card didn't know two colors of cards were being used. A fourth person. Ha! This theory again! Your first fourth person doesn't exist! Your first person doesn't exist! That room was no, empty! No, I, I was saying, yeah. like, fourth. <laughs> Furf. Your Colin Furf was not in that room that <laughs> night! <laughs> Indeed. Elvis has left the building. That's why I decided to bring this case to court. Here, where there's no escape and no chance for deception. The perfect place to catch the real criminal. Unless you're the, the real criminal. The real criminal? Phoenix Wright just goes to prison. And we're in luck. A clue to the real criminal's identity was kindly provided for us. And right at the beginning of the trial, no less. It's a security badge. What? Apollo? Perhaps you know what I'm talking about. No. Um, sorry. <laughs> Remember what I said. The fourth person who swapped the cards made one critical error. He or she wasn't considering the color on the backs of the cards. Right. But how could such an obvious mistake occur? The cards used for the last game were red. Yet, there is one person here in our court who thought those cards were blue. Yeah, I had that impression too, but why? Well, Apollo, think you could figure out who it was? It's not me, I swear! Who was this fourth person? Why do I always get put on the spot like this? Let's hear what the defense has to say. Who was it? Who thought the cards used in the final game were blue? Um... Wasn't it... Kristoff? Wasn't he the one that was like, I'm pretty sure that they... Or, no, who was the one that was like, I thought that they were blue besides the judge? I think it was... <laughs> okay, just put that down. Apollo, do you seriously think that? I think I'm seriously confused. I... I'm seriously sorry. Well, that didn't go well. Well, it can't be helped. I almost missed it myself. But it doesn't do anyone any good to turn their eyes away from the truth. Does it, Kristoff? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. I was like, I'm pretty sure he was the one that was like, aren't they blue? As I expected. Your eyes and ears are as sharp as your hair. Uh, I was right? Kristoff Gavin. You were the fourth person that Which night. Which explains why Phoenix Wright was like, I don't want you being my attorney! But, but of course Mr. Gavin knows the color of the cards! How would he? As you can see, the photo of the crime scene is black and white. You can't tell which of the cards are blue, the ones on the floor, or the table. But, but look! You can see the colors in this photo! Yes, but when he said the cards were blue, it was well before this evidence came to light. It is true that the defendant was engaged in a game of poker with the victim, yet it was only that, a game, in the pure sense, a competition, your honor. A uh, competition? Yes, a test of wits, a silent clash of passions. Only the cards, their backs wreathed in blue flame, know its final outcome. That was it. Yep, I thought I remember him saying something like that. Well, Kristoff? Mr. Gavin? Mr. Gavin! Is something the matter? Hmm? No, nothing. Excuse me, it was just so... sudden. Right? You aren't seriously accusing me, are you? Oh, Kristoff, you know even I'd never take a joke this far. <laughs> yeah, I wondered if something would happen with the guy next to us. This has gone beyond ridiculous, beyond dumb! This is insanity! The defendant accusing his own defense attorney of murder! I assure you, I'm quite sane. But what possible connection could Mr. Gavin have to the victim? I wasn't aware that I had a connection to Mr. Smith either. Yes, but Mr. Gavin and the victim have never even met! Well, what if they have? Huh? There is a possibility, after all. What is it with you and the possibilities lately? They may have met that night, before the game started. What are you suggesting? Is this the truth Mr. Wright was staying silent about? Well, only one thing to do. Mr. Wright, the defense would like to request that you testify to the court. The defense would like to request no such thing. Mr. Gavin? Testimonies must relate to the case. 
How could anything happening before that game of poker be related? Um, everything. Maybe Gavin is a landlord, um, in, in disguise, like, in- Maybe he's the, the, um, uh, gangster bad he, guy. No, 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 he could be, like, the dude- Remember, okay, he could, he could be the food safety inspector guy. He's like, okay, um, there's literal snow piled up here. I'm gonna have to find you guys for all <laughs> There's this just this video of a boat. boat. <laughs> <laughs> I was what, talking food about, inspector guy? I was guy? talking about that earlier today, actually. Food Remember, inspector guy? No, a uh, video of a boat. Yeah. No, no, I meant, what were you saying about the food oh, inspector? Is that I'm like a character is, from no, the Ace Attorney games? Or no, just... what I'm wondering is, because Mr. Gavin, like, there must be something like a threat, like, hmm, well, we'll see how your business goes as poker champ, or whatever. <laughs> like, and he, like, talks to him beforehand, and then that makes the game, that gives motive for things. Interesting. I'm not sure I follow Mr. Gavin. As I explained before, the defense believes that Miss Forley... Am I to assume you speak for Mr. Justice in this? He is the defense, not you. Mr. Justice, the matter of Mr. Wright's testimony is up to you. Oh, okay. Does the court, in your opinion, need to hear Mr. Wright's testimony? Why would you say not? Like, you might as well do it. We can waste time. This isn't, um, Mr. <laughs> right. Three-Minute Trial. As much as I'd like it to, I guess the testimony isn't related to the case, per se. You heard what the judge said, Apollo. It's your decision. Yours. Justice, you aren't seriously considering. I'm sorry, Mr. Gavin. Oh, really? It just goes right to that? Okay. This was Mr. Wright's strategy. He was planning this all along. And I intend to see it through. The defense would like to request that Mr. Wright testify to the court. At two, Justice, you would betray me, your teacher. I'm sorry, Mr. Gavin. This isn't about loyalty. This is about the truth. Very well, the defendant, Mr. Wright, will take the stand, please. Get out of here, Olga. Olga, we don't care about you. Witness testimony, appetite before murder. Ooh, what were they eating? I don't want to hear. Borscht! Yeah, they probably were. <laughs> that evening, Kristoff and I had dinner. We sat at the table in this photograph. Um, you did? He told us, that. Gavin told us that, where he's like, incidentally, I dined with the defendant before the murder happened. Okay, but, but Kristoff is white, and this guy's not. That's not Kristoff there! He's just oh. saying that's the table they ate at! Oh! I, it, Jeez, it, said, it said in the photograph, and I'm like, that's the photograph, he's... He white. said we ate at the table in this photograph. Oh, not okay. in the photograph, we ate at the table. Oh, that's very important. Shady Smith walked in five minutes after Kristoff left. When the trap failed, Smith hit the waitress. The girl was knocked out cold and Smith was uncontrollable. I left to call the police. When I returned, he was dead, blood streaming from a cut on his forehead. That's when I made another phone call to defense attorney Gavin. You're like, man, sure is a good thing I ran into you earlier today. How about you be my defense attorney? They knew each other. They yeah, were but, friends. Yeah, but they ran into each other. Then the murder happened. He's like, oh boy, am I glad to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gavin, you were at the Borscht Bowl Club on the night of the murder? I dine with him rather frequently. And he talked to the defendant on the phone directly after the murder? Quite against my will, I had become involved in a murder. I thought I might be in need of a lawyer, so I called him. You were planning this all alone, weren't you, right? Just because you wanted to drag me into your little murder trial. The only thing I want is the truth. As I did back then, and now. I thought my office was doing you a favor when we took on your defense. It appears that I was wrong. Very well, the defense may cross-examine the witness. Justice... S sir He's lying, and you're going to expose him. Uh, understood, sir. Mr. Gavin versus Mr. Wright, this can't end well. Why can't I have a normal trial? Yeah, <laughs> this is your poor first trial. <laughs> Cross-examination. Appetite before murder sounds like something from Ratatouille. Oh, yeah. I would... Uh, Actually, I, no, I don't I want don't a Ratatouille I don't want a Ratatouille too. sequel. No, no, I, no don't. I don't. I, I love That movie was though. epic and amazing and, and the, beautiful. And it ended well. It ended brilliantly. Anyhow, we can talk more about Ratatouille and how great it was next time on yeah. Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Thanks for watching, everybody. Man, how's that for a turn? You thought it was going to be Olga Orly who was the murderer just like normal, but no, it turns out actually Gavin now seems to be the suspect. Well, and that's cool, in my opinion, because I feel like... 
We've had some really weird trials where it's like, oh, the prosecution is the murderer. But of course, it's Winston Payne. He's not going to suddenly take up murder now. <laughs> that would be great. That would be a great twist if that I was think, the case. I think if it was the last Phoenix Wright game, they'd be like, what a twist. And then would do that at the last minute. <laughs> Anyhow. All of his sadness after losing for like 40 years. He just like, snaps. Ah! <laughs> and he snaps. Kill Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Anyhow. Yeah. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.